Okay, this video is uh, a request from uh, Darren Scott 84. He wanted me to show you guys uh, instructions on how to uh, install a Harris bipod or any bipod for that matter uh, that's a Harris style onto a PSL. Now you guys probably noticed that these scopes change a lot on the PSLs. Uh, it's because I'm constantly testing various scopes to see which one fits my uh, my desires the most, my my, uh, my expectations and whatnot, and this is actually the newest one uh, made by the Russian manufacturer Barska. And so far, I have yet to test it, but the clarity is great, just as good as uh, the PSO Type One, which is also made in Russia. Uh, I have to say that Russian manufacturer scopes are by far the most uh, high in clarity that I've ever had the pleasure of working with. And they also have a very great price in comparison to the normal uh, U.S. made scopes or, or even Chinese, of course. So, very good scope so far in clarity. I've yet to test, uh, test it with a rifle. The only bad thing is that it is a longer scope, so it's hard to disassemble the, uh, the, the, the gas assembly without removing the scope. Of course, the good news is because it is a side mount bracket, I can remove the scope and clean the rifle without the scope on it, reattach the scope and not have to worry about uh, re-zeroing the scope from removal. It's designed to hold at zero many times uh, for taking it on and off. Uh, the most I may have to do is just fine-tune adjustments once I stick it back on maybe the 20th time or so. But uh, I'll show you the breakdown real quick. It's a quick detach so drop a lever, slides right off. Pop your dust cover, pop your recoil spring out just like an AK. Of course, I'm going to drop the magazine first. Pull the bolt carrier out, flip it up, remove your gas assembly. There's a little lever up front here. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll use a little screwdriver. It's hard to get to for me. Right there. You just flip that little lever up, folds out of the way. You just simply shimmy this little piece off here, slide it up. And the entire foregrip, just by pulling up on it, removes out of the receiver. You just pull it down, it comes right off the rifle. And this one has a little flat head adjustment. So unscrew the bipod here. All right, and now we get to the foregrip. Now, all PSLs have a little vent on the bottom, and that's what I found uh, this little adapter for to fit in that vent. It's a Shooter's Ridge, designed by Shooter's Ridge. You can get it on Midway USA for about 10 to $11. Uh, the product ID is uh, 624340. I'll put that in the comments page. And as you can see on the inside here, the little metal bracket inside has venting as well, so it still allows for cooling of your barrel. So very nice little bipod attachment. Has a little square washer on here so it holds it nice and steady to the wood. Don't torque this down because you will indent your wood with the metal. Just snug it up. Your bipod, once you crank down your bipod, will snug this piece up nice and good and it won't allow it to move or, or jimmy loose or anything. And the reason why I say that is because all bipods, uh, if you buy Harris bipods, this one's actually a Walmart bipod. I don't remember the manufacturer name, like Mountain Rock or Mountain Ridge or something like that. A little $40 bipod. It's got foam padding on the sides here, so when I torque it down, it's going to protect the wood with this foam padding and allow this uh, attachment piece not to slide around. So uh, the only indention you'll see at that point is on the inside, which won't matter. And so no big deal there. So you just simply attach that, thread that. All this, this entire... Uh, Attachment comes with the nut, the washer, and the back plate all in one. You know, like I said, 10 or $11. Just thread that nut into place, that little stud in, in, into the, uh, the back bracket here with the washer in place. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Just snug it up, like I said. Get it in position for your bipod. And just simply lock your bipod into place. Tighten it down. Once you get it snug, get your Allen wrench or flathead screwdriver, whatever you need in order to tighten down the uh, thumb adjustment here to lock it in place on your foregrip. And that's it. That's all you have to do. 
So it does not in, it does not damage your foregrip. Cheap little attachment piece, and uh, works out very well. So you don't hurt the resale value of your rifle. No more drilling your your foregrip or or anything like that. Worrying about stripping your wood out, nothing like that. Just a metal bracket. It's actually meant for an AR-15. Again, the part number is uh, six two. Four three four zero, and you can purchase it from MidwayUSA.com. Thanks for watching.